welcome to Scope, where the beakers are bubbling because we're cooking up an episode all about chemical science. From medicine to materials and everything in between, chemistry can help us learn more about the elements that make up all things so we can use them in new ways. Of course, chemicals aren't just used for dance parties, they're also handy for cleaning up. When we want to get rid of nasties lurking in our home, we often use standard cleaning products like vinegar or bleach. These materials work really well, but they do create smells that aren't very nice, and they often contain harmful chemicals. So what if we could use more natural materials to do the job? Hi, I'm Harriet, and here at Flinders University, we're testing a range of essential oils to see if they can work better in the fight against fungi. Fungi and mould can be found almost everywhere, and they're not always visible. Sometimes the teeny tiny spores are just floating around us in the air. We want to compare how bleach and vinegar work to kill fungi, compared to oils from plants like clove, eucalyptus and lavender. So we decided to grow some fungi of our own by isolating some of the strains found right here. To do this, we made up agar plates with the nutrient requirements for a broad range of fungi. Then we simply laid them out on the bench to collect the fungi spores. After an hour or so, we put the plates into this machine called an incubator, which heated the plates to 25 degrees so that they had the perfect conditions to grow. Then we transferred a small subculture of each type of fungi onto another plate to isolate them. Time to test out our different materials. Using vinegar, bleach, water and oils bought from the local chemist, we prepared our treatments by adding each material to a small disc, which we placed in the centre of the plates. We then checked the growth on the plates every few days to see if there were changes. After a week, we measured what is known as the zone of inhibition. The zone of inhibition is the area around the disc where there is no fungi growth. This measurement allowed us to see how well the treatments performed on each of the different types of fungi. The wider the zone, the more effective the treatment was. After compiling our results, we made some pretty surprising discoveries. The clove, eucalyptus and lavender outperformed the vinegar and bleach, with clove being the best performer, proving effective against all the types of fungi tested. But just because these oils come from plants doesn't mean they're safe. In fact, some of these oils are actually more toxic than vinegar. Now it's time to see how these oils would have to be used and in what concentrations in order for them to be effective, safe and practical in the real world. And we're on our way to creating clean, green, household cleaners of the future.